What's going on guys? Welcome back to Pat Outdoors. Today we're going to be working on my Mini Enduro MX650. I realize I haven't been riding it too much around the neighborhood or at nighttime in general and that's simply because it has zero visibility. This thing is black and you can't see it like 10 feet in front of you at night. So I'm going to be changing that by adding some lighting today. This is what we're going to be using today. This is just some generic LED strip lighting that I got from Amazon. This LED strip is supposed to be six feet long, which should be long enough to wrap around the whole top side of my frame. Uh, it gets its power through USB, and um, my enduro bike actually has a lithium battery that has a separate USB port. So we're gonna see if that works. And uh, it comes with a remote. You're supposed to be able to change the color, so that should be pretty cool. What I'm planning on doing here is removing the body and then running the strip lighting all across the top side of the frame which I'm thinking would illuminate the whole inside of the body and hopefully it's bright enough to reflect off the floor. We'll see. And then it's gonna get its power source from this USB port. This is directly connected to my lithium battery. Before we get any further, let's see if it actually works. Okay, definitely works. So I don't think the remote works very well. Turns out there was just a plastic strip on the inside that you had to pull out to activate the battery. But it works. Remotes kind of Sometimes it doesn't want to work though if it's too far out, but it functions if you got it close to the bike. You can make it dim or make it brighter. I'm going to leave it on the brightest setting for now. Oh, it's got a strobe, fade, all sorts of settings. The adhesive strap on the back though is absolute trash. All right, so I just put the body back on temporarily just to get an idea of how the light shines across the bike. And I'm very happy with the back. It's very bright, reflects off the floor and everything. Uh, but the front half is not as visible as I'd like. So I might change the way I route the lighting on the front half. I might just have it go down the back side of the frame and loop and then add a headlight to it eventually. I think that'll get the most visibility out of this kit. Here's how I ended up routing it. I just looped it all around the rear half of the frame and then I tucked the wiring back into the box. You can actually cut strips off of this LED lighting to get it to the perfect length that you're looking for. Every inch and a half there's a white line where it allows you to cut where it doesn't damage any of the electronics. Well, let's go put the body back on and see how it looks. All 
All right, let's see how visible this bike is now. That is plenty bright. If you couldn't see it before, you can definitely see it now. There's plenty of light reflection all around, all over the floor. And if you don't want it to be this distracting, you can always just leave it at plain white. It's as bright as it can get or any other colors. There's different modes and whatnot, but I'll likely keep it at this purplish pink color. I think I really like that look. Let me know what you guys think. All right, guys, this bike is now officially visible in the dark. Now we just gotta add a headlight to it and it is ready for some night riding. If there's a specific headlight that you'd like to see me install on this bike, make sure to comment it below and I'll have a look at it. But if you enjoyed today's video, do me a favor and hit that like button. If you like this kind of content, wanna keep up with some of my projects, consider subscribing to my channel. But this is gonna be it for today. Thank you for watching.